Hello everybody, welcome uh, to another SimHanger fly-in. Thank you everybody for joining us. I see we've got 37 people in the voice discord at the moment. I got somebody blasting their uh, their throttle full forward by the sounds of it at the moment. It's got to be a turboprop. Well, today we are in France and we're heading to Spain. and We're going to be uh, traversing through the Pyrenees. We've got a few easy landings and a few small challenges for you. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Um, to everybody that's joining us on the stream, thank you very much. And if I can just remind everybody to please uh, use push to talk so uh, we don't get any or we don't get too much background noise. So for our first flight, we are at Lima Foxtrot Mike Papa, River Sales, I think it is. Anybody from this area here with us today? No? Okay. So I'm not, you'll have to forgive the pronunciation of some of these. We're departing runway 31. Uh, great turnout, guys. Whole lot of beavers <laughs> here today, and I can see a whole lot of other aircraft as well. We've even got a Pilatus. And, uh, dude, am I. Is somebody on floats? It looks like it. Um, okay, so we're going to be taking off from here. We um, need an initial heading of 247, 23 nautical miles to our first waypoint and climb 6,500 and once over there then start a further climb we're going to go over one of the highest points in the Pyrenees um, uh, climb to 8,500 feet and once we're over the mountain we need to drop down fairly quickly because we're going to do a touch and go on the dam wall um, before a very quick uh, climb and then a quick landing at Lima Foxtrot Romeo Alpha. Okay, so we've got quite a few long legs, so there's lots of times to chat. So I suggest that uh, let's get the show on the road and uh, let's get away. After you, gentlemen. Roger. Sounds like a plan. Here we go. I love watching this. This is amazing. ATC would be having an absolute nightmare at the moment. Hello Danton, thanks for joining us. Anyone flying now? Well, we're all flying now, sir. Well, I don't want to get left behind. Not a lot of chatter, guys. Obviously, quite a bit of concentration uh, going on at the moment. <laughs> if you're wondering, I've set my time. I've set my time for 10 a.m. in the morning, and I'm using live weather. It's quite overcast, actually. Yeah. And we're up, and leg one starts. Suggested cruise altitude mark? 6,500 feet uh, until we're over the, uh, the town or village of Ria, and then it's a further climb to 8,500. For those of you flying on live weather, don't forget to hit the B key to set your barometer and also your D key to set your compass.
we're going to need a climb rate. Uh, we've got quite a distance, so a climb rate of five or six hundred uh, feet per minute should be plenty, guys. Here we go, here we go. Looks like just about everybody's off the ground. I think I see a wind farm down there. Yeah, quite a big one. Stella Aviates up, Wind Fox is up, Tunesy is climbing like there's no tomorrow. What are you in, Tunesy? Ah, oh, the D17, nice. Dagger Wing, yeah, never flown it. <laughs> Do you think he'll stay in it for the whole flight? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love to find out, won't you? <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey guys, this is Billy, just doing a mic check. I got here late. Can you hear me? Good sounds good. Reading you five by five, sir. Thank you. This is very strange, the first time I've done this. Who are you, sir? Hello there, I'm Sumpy, uh, Simon. Well, welcome Sumpy, on, welcome. Um, why does it feel strange? Um, first time flying multiplayer in uh, VR. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. It'll oh. be a great experience. Great. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> Welcome yeah, to the dark side. It's all your fault, Mark. It cost me a fortune. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, as they say, yeah. It's, it's cost us all a fortune. Yep. I was going to say, you're not the only one. Yep. Between him, VR flight guy, and Hudson, got yep. a lot to answer for. And Tony Dark Zero, need a word with you afterwards. What have I done? Talking about nice joysticks. Oh yeah, you can't beat a bit of hard cold metal. Mm. Yeah. I've got no willpower. I'm like a tabby cat. <laughs> He's still resisting the quest. Yeah, I can, I've got a little bit more willpower. Up. Is a willpower called the wife? Though? No, surprisingly not. She doesn't actually mind at all. <laughs> uh, fair enough. She's not worried in the slightest. You're a lucky man. What speed are we locking in at? Yep, you should be looking at uh, between 130 and 140 knots, guys. I'm currently climbing about 135 and 600 feet per minute. What's that in miles per hour? Are we higher in knots? We're higher in miles per hour, aren't we? No, yeah. you're lower. Are we? Oh, sorry, you're higher in miles per hour. Quite correct. So that about 150. Probably about 150 or something like that. Okay. On most of the speedos, there should be a little, a little slider for conversion. No. Uh, don't know if no, it's on, no. the, on the 17. No, I can't see anything. Well, today we're going to uh, be uh, heading into Spain. We'll also be bypassing the micro state of Andorra. Uh, don't know if you guys are familiar with Andorra at all. Anybody been there? Yes, there's some lovely snowboarding and skiing to be had. Yep. Indeed, very very popular, very big, uh, about 80% of the economy I think is tourism. It's one of the smallest, it's an independent state, it's one of the smallest in the world I believe. My wife loves uh, skiing. Who's that? It's Tony Dark Zero. Ah. Are, are you a skier, Tony? I was, and then I went to the dark side and started snowboarding. Ah, good man. Never look back, just like VR. Or well, you never look back there. while you're snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> that could be that, that could be rough. I've got a picture of Tony Dark Zero snowboarding while looking backwards in VR. Uh. <laughs> okay, so the first uh, waypoint is Ria. Um, 
it's a small town or village and uh, I'm about 11 nautical miles from it at the moment and then we're going to be turning on a heading of 289 uh, it's about uh, 10 nautical miles to uh, get over the uh, mountain top as it were you're going to need to climb to 8,500 I'd recommend as a minimum the top of the mountain is about 8,300 thereabouts so at 8.5 we should just skim over the top a little bit to spare and then we want to drop fairly quickly down to 6,500 feet as we prepare for a little touch and go on the dam wall before just uh, climbing and jumping round the corner to land at La Quelle, Lima Foxtrot, November, Quebec and again anybody from France uh, uh, excuse my pronunciation please and uh, we'll be landing runway 32 at the airport Step order, Stephen, are you with us today? I'm here. How are you doing, sir? I'm um, doing very well. Just uh, getting up to cruise here. You're a little bit quiet. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, loud and clear, sir. Okay. Some very uh, regular names and a couple of new ones. Hideki Colt, uh, welcome. Is this your first flight, I think you said? No, no. <laughs> after a week. Ah, okay, I beg your pardon. That's uh, my third flight with you. Brilliant. Yep. Welcome to Golf Mike. I see you're in the cockpit co kit box, sir. Yes, very nice airplane indeed. Welcome back to Pipo the Clown. Nice to see you here. Steve C, Boston Elf, and of course, Tony Dock Zero. Rude comment 54, welcome sir. Couldn't hear that. No, couldn't hear that. I mean, it's the who's I mean, I mean, yeah. I think he needs to be closer to his mic. Keep calling, sir. We'll find you. Boston Elk checking in. Hello, welcome. Hello to Daddy Kitty Tune. So you'd love to fly with us someday? Well, you'd be welcome, sir. Boston Evening, Elf, Pete. Happy New Year. I haven't been flying with you for a Evening, while, Steve. but it's oh, great yeah. to be here, so welcome. Thank Evening. you. Evening, Blue. Hello, Steve. How are you? Can you hear me? I got you loud and clear, sir. I'll take this opportunity to say hello. I'm Loud Whisper. This is my second flight. I was very quiet the, sec the first time, but I uh, had such a great time. I thought I'd join you again. Well, you're very welcome. And uh, you don't need to be so quiet. Opportunity to make up ground, sir. <laughs> I'll try my best. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're coming up uh, that village below us there, that is uh, Ria. So we'll be making the turn and the mountain peak is just to your right there, you can see it. And we're going to head uh, directly over the mountains and we are officially in the Pyr Pyrenees now.
For those of you that like your geography, the Pyrenees straddles the French and Spanish border and uh, it's 430 kilometers long and stretches from the Mediterranean through to the Atlantic. And that, I'm ashamed to say, is the extent of my knowledge. I'm sure this is the uh, terrain details much better here than it was when the sim launched. I don't know if, he, uh, if it was covered in a France update or something, but not the Iberia one. It was. Um, yeah. It, it got an update, and one of the airports that will be uh, uh, landing at today, Lima Echo Sierra Uniform, was one of those that got a little bit of a touch-up as well. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because uh, I flew this not long after the sim launched on the Xbox, and it was nothing like as... The, the, the terrain mesh just wasn't as mountain-like, shall we say. Detailed, really, I don't think it's ever as detailed in this. I think well, it looks absolutely brilliant. It does, not it? The weather has changed quite dramatically from when I flew this yesterday. It, it can in the Pyrenees. I did a cycle ride from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean about four years ago in September. And three years ago, two of the days, we had to abandon going over the high passes because of the snow. The following days, it was quite sunny. Wow. Yeah. You're, you're a little bit quiet again, Julian. Yeah, I've, I've tried fiddling with it. I don't know what I'm going to do in, um, in, in uh, Discord and in the Windows setting, but I'll have to speak up a bit. Quite clear to me, Julian. It's might be, maybe it's some other people might just not be hearing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've noticed that sometimes. Others are saying it's not to me personally. They're saying it's quiet and it sounds okay. Yeah, perfectly clear to me. I'm not convinced I'm going to clear this system. Climb, climb, climb. Welcome also to Ninja. Welcome back, sir. Nice to see you here and to Horus 45. Thank you very much, Mark. It's nice to be here. Moose P, welcome back. Very nice to see you. And of course, Ms. Mariza, Ryan, great to have you on board again, sir. Thanks, Mark. Paulus704 is ahead of me here, as is MGB Dave. And Arcos. Arcos, is this your first flight with us, Sue, or have you joined us before? Johanna, she's asking, is there a video uh, from you explaining what to do, how to join such flights? Yes, sir, there is. If you join the Simhanger Discord, go then to the event details section in the Discord. Uh, and at the top of that section are, there are videos as well as uh, text explanations on sim settings, discord settings and so on to help you set up. Right, I've just reached 8500. Scraping those mountains at 8,500. We are, sir. By design, of course. <laughs> We're actually flying over a an airport, uh, or airstrip, I should say, is the Lima Foxtrot Romeo Alpha. Uh, but it's almost impossible to spot. Um, I was going to plan a landing here, but I just, I just wasn't quite... I think I know where it is, but it's, it's not very well defined at all. It's right on, more or less, right on top of this mountain here. Now, as we come over the mountain top um, and we head towards the dam wall, what you want to do is uh, steer slightly to the right um, to give you time to get down. You want to descend to 6,500 and uh, uh, start slowing down and. Uh, Stay to the right so you've got time to turn on to final and uh, lose a bit of speed before going for the damn wall. 
and once you've done a touch and go and I do it earlier rather than later then uh, you want to have full power um, and uh, you want to climb up slightly because the airport we're landing at is literally just around the corner I'm now scraping over the mountains Tunzi I can see you just below me there sir are you going to get over those mountains? <laughs> yeah, I'm clear by 100 feet. Should be okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 8,200. We're yeah. good. You're good. Yeah. I made it over at 8,600. I got my shoes dirty, but apart from that, it's good. So as we turn, uh, we want to start dropping down, uh, guys. Um, probably need to lose a little bit of speed uh, to do that. Let's just bring that down to 6.5. I'm going to drop to 6,500. Oh, it's fantastic seeing everybody here. I mean, we've, we've got 44 people in the Discord, so we've probably got, uh, we've probably got maybe 48, 49 people flying with us at the moment. That's just fantastic, guys. Yeah, that sounds like another good turnout. Right at the end of the damn wall is a, a load of uh, pylons, just for fun. Yeah, mind the trees too, guys. Why is everyone being so rude about the wall? That damn wall. Where is the damn wall? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a clue where it is around here. Well, it's probably at the end of the lake there, you know. Just a guess. Yeah. One end or the other. No, it's uh, this side end. The lake. Near you side. Yeah, you come to it first. And when I say oh. damn wall, it's loosely defined as a damn wall. Oh, it's turbulence so just over this side of the mountains. Yeah, watch out for power lines. I think I see some. Yeah, they're, they're right yeah, there as soon as you get off yeah. the dam. <laughs> And this airfield comes up quickly too. It comes up very quickly. There we go. Let's see. Uh, we got Moose P going in now for touch and go. PB1127. I'm starting to pull my nose up. I need to lose a bit of speed here. Pitch fully forward. For those of you in the Beaver, I would uh, recommend no more than uh, takeoff flaps for this touch and go. Got my 31, but it's the opposite direction, isn't it, Mark? Say again? Is it, is it uh, landing in the opposite direction, isn't it? We are landing. 31 is it? Um, 32. 32. 32. Yeah. It's a beautiful wide grass runway. There's two runways. There's 32 and uh, 32 right. So we're landing 32, not 32 right, I think it is. Or is it left? Yeah. More like wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're landing 32 ish. 32 ish, yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm coming in on the damn wall. Ah, I see it now. I can't miss with all the planes on it. <laughs> Come on, girl, get down. 
We're down. Laps up one. Laps up two. And flaps up. Just got to be a bit careful in the BV here that you don't stall her as you pull out. Could have brought the Spitfire. Now you don't want to climb too high because literally, if you can see me, just round this corner is the runway. And we want to come in on 32, so uh, we want to come in from the other end, guys. A bit left. Golf Mike, did you face plant it? There's a few face plants. It wasn't pleasant, let me tell you that. Oh, stop. Touch and go. This is a. Uh, this is a touch and go, sir. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, Pike Land says it's a land. Does it? But oh, I beg yeah, your no, pardon. It's a, land. it's a full stop. I beg your pardon. Yeah, in time. Definitely was for me. It's really a pretty runway. Coming in hot. Thirty two is the other end, blue boy. Yeah, sure we you don't mind. <laughs> Lots of beavers today. I love seeing all these beavers. Yeah, just as long as I get down in one piece. <laughs> Damn and beavers. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Interesting trivia. The male beaver is called beaver. And the female beaver is called beaver. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> not not too original. The the baby beaver is called a kit. It's none of that did you just misgender me stuff going on there? <laughs> no. That's it. Just, just, I've got the right idea genders. then beavers. <laughs> Whoa! Your gender equality. Well, Beaver. Beaver. Ooh. Breaks. Oh, that was fun. Must admit, Mark, you did a real good landing because your aircraft is showing uh, floats on it. Is it? Oh, because yeah. I don't have floats. No, it's definitely got floats, but it's a nice landing. Thank you, sir. How are we doing? Who's still to come down? Me, I completely missed it. No problem. But don't wait for me. If you want to get going, I can... No problem. Arcos is saying he doesn't have a mic. Um, no problem, sir. Crashed and burned. Limpan saying fantastic landscape. Uh, when you get up on the plateau, where there the nature becomes completely different. I was there on a motorcycle holiday a few years ago. Thank you very much, sir. To Akros, uh, it's worth may well be worthwhile, sir, investing in uh, in in a mic. Love to hear from you. A mic at. Two, two, two. This is uh, this is great. I must join you next time. When is the next one? It'll be in about a month's time, sir. If you join the Simhanger Discord under event details, that's where we post all the details for the flights. Those in the Beaver, keep an eye on your uh, fuel. Now, near Wolf, you're either really good at stall or that's a helicopter, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's in a one four five. Yeah. 
Okay, so, uh, gentlemen, we're departing here. We need to climb to uh, 7,500 feet. We're going to fly directly over Lima Foxtrot Yankee Sierra. Um, overhead at 7,500 feet on a heading of 218. And uh, the flight plan then says that we fly overhead also at 7,500 feet at Lima Echo Charlie Delta. Um, but of course, my flight plans are only a general guide as to what will happen. So uh, I'm proposing uh, for those that would like to at Lima Echo Charlie Delta, which is the second airport overhead, uh, let's do a quick touch and go there. And then we're off to Lima Echo Sierra Uniform, climb 5,500. So I'll give you more information as we get up and away. So initially a heading of uh, 218 and let's head um, overhead um, Lima Foxtrot Yankee Sierra and then for those that want to touch and go at the next airport which is uh, um, it, it's a hard surface I think it's an asphalt runway. So when you're ready let's get up and away. We're not going to backtrack or anything, guys. So when you're ready, let's go. Watch your mixture. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks fantastic, guys. Once again, I'm going to get uh, left behind. Laps to take off. And let's throttle it all the way. Nose is down. you got to love this beaver. I mean, she's up in just a couple of hundred feet. Yeah, it's fun to fly. I'm struggling controlling it on the runway once I've landed with my uh, uh, with my new rudder pedals. Yeah, she's very sensitive, isn't she? You need to back We got nose wheel turning on. That can make it up. Back off the sensitivity. Oh, getting my nose far too high up there. Yeah, I've, I've played with the, the settings. I've not quite got them right, obviously, but uh, I, I tend to weave all over the place. I, I need to keep practicing. And uh, maybe just adjust your sensitivities a little bit. It does help. I've got uh, my sensitivities for the beaver at about minus 40. Roger, I'll give that a go. I rely on luck. <laughs> oh, is that a ski jump over there? To the right, That's where Horace right. is. Yeah, I'm just having a look at it. Looks like a ski, that does. I'm going to fly over, sorry. I'm going to have a closer look at that. Yeah, that's a ski right jump. There's Must a number be. of them. Yeah, it is. Um, I did test that for a landing, actually, um, as you can imagine. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. It's got a couple of steps in it, so not really practical. Although, of course, in the flight, I do have uh, one unlisted uh, landing coming up. Of course, surprise, surprise. Just Over where Strato Jam is at the moment, there's actually a solar power station there. I don't know if uh, I, I put that on the uh, uh, the scenery. I was just a key run. It's not a jump, is it? I think it probably is. You reckon? It might be a training hill. Yeah. What for moguls? <laughs> well, for, for people who don't want to go off the big steep, I'm straight away. 
I'm flying the Beaver and I've just looked to the right and I don't like the look of my co-pilot to be honest. Open the door. Yeah, kick him out. That's there we go. That's why. parachute. You can get rid of him. Just click on the panel. Yeah. Eject. Yeah. <laughs> so climb to look. seven five, guys. As long as he doesn't look like either Buddy Holly, the Big Bop, or Glenn Miller, I think he should be okay. Yeah, good one. You should finish the flight. I should really have my lights on, I suppose. There we are. Once again, for those of you in the Beaver, don't forget to change tanks about now, otherwise you could run dry. Yeah, I think this, I think this plane has only got about a 350 uh, nautical mile cruise range is that right yeah it, full it, tanks it, it's not very far at all no and I'm guessing that's assuming you're managing your prop and your mixture and everything just just right yeah which <laughs> I'm not prone to do prop prop uh, makes a big difference on the beaver yeah very big difference on the beaver in terms of uh, climb power I'm now flying yeah. directly overhead, Lima, Foxtrot, Romeo, no, over, Lima, Foxtrot, Yankee, Sierra. So we've got uh, about seven and a half nautical miles to the next airport. I'm suggesting a, a touch and go. Um, and we'll just go straight in on the runway, go, we'll be more or less lined up. That's LECD? Uh, LECD, sir, yeah. Okay. Now that's not far away, is it? No, that's, well, yeah. Okay. Seven and a half nautical miles. I see mesmerizers already dropping down. And if you, you, you should be able to see the, actually the runway from here. Once you're over the other, uh, that airport, uh, Lima, Foxtrot, Yankee Sierra, you should be able to see it. It's a hard surface runway and we're heading straight into it. I'm not sure, I think it's runway 24. Yeah, that's about right. Yep, I see it right now. MGB Dave is heading down, Arcos is heading down, Mesmerizer is heading down. Yeah, it's 25, 242. So. It's 2.5 and yes, it's on 2.40. There you go. I'm down. Where though? Where? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's on the runway. I can see him. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Well, I just got a little turbulence there. There's some more. I need to start losing. So just a touch and go here for those that would like to. But while we're doing it, guys, just have a look around at this scenery. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I love this the combination of the mountains and this uh, farmland. It's really pretty. Now, our next flying is going to be uh, tentatively uh, depending on uh, a Microsoft update but because uh, with the next uh, world update I think the um, aircraft they're giving away not giving away but they're sort of local legend I think it's going to be a helicopter so I'm planning on the next flight being a helicopter flight in Australia and uh, then after that we're heading for the ultralights 
but I would like some suggestions and input from you guys as to where do you recommend or suggest uh, for an ultralight flight. So if any of you got any ideas, I'm all ears. Round Machu Picchu is uh, very dramatic. It would be exciting. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. If you can fly at that no. sort of height. Yeah, but this got some great there's some great valleys around there but Machu Picchu itself is not it's just painted it's not rendered properly there's a there's a flight sim tier for PCU Pops ah, yeah. for, for PCU I yeah, think yeah. I think we should fly I think we should fly in a dense urban area that has lots of flat surfaces uh, rooftops parking lots etc where we can just we can land and there's lots of interesting things to see on the ground rather than just trees and bushes Paris. okay fair one such as yeah exactly or, or, or yeah. Manhattan or or someplace like that where lots of places are already waiting for us to descend upon Ma and, 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 and locals to terrorize <laughs> A man off to hey, my own horde. Hey. <laughs> that, that Wolverhampton. A, uh, are we not a horde? <laughs> <laughs> Stay that away from my house. A performance <laughs> night. On, on Xbox, that could be an absolute performance nightmare. Having a group flight in a in a dead urban environment with uh, Man photogrammetry. Manhattan, it will be. <laughs> I yeah. can barely fly on my own. Yeah. Paris yeah, isn't If you go in that France. slow, you'll be able to catch up on it. That's the problem. Right, guys, this this leg now. We don't you want to climb to um, about uh, four thousand? Am I right here? Yeah, about four thousand, uh, five thousand five hundred feet. I beg your pardon. And follow the valley west, and we're heading to uh, Lima Echo Sierra Uniform, which I think is one of the handcrafted airports from yeah. one of the updates. And in addition, it's a uh, it's a really great approach. Uh, we're going to be landing runway two one, and uh, altitude is two thousand six hundred twenty nine feet, and it it's raised up um, above the surrounding uh, terrain, and uh, it's a fantastic approach to that airport. And as you come in, uh, don't get too low because mind the fence. The fence. <laughs> <laughs> Below four thousand foot, about three three seven, and down the valley is quite fun here. This first, this middle bit of a valley, yeah. follow the river. Has anybody out there got? Rex Accu seasons. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. Is it, yes. is it any good? Does it hit? Yes, great. Does it affect the um, nope. FPS pretty much? Nope, no. perfect. Absolutely brilliant. No I love it. Worth a buy, Absolutely. Fly without yeah. it. Yeah, the pro version is excellent. Okay, thanks, Matt. Three colours are lovely. The terrain, the changing colour of the terrain, which is an option, works well. Change it. Trees and the height in cities is, is helps. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Well worth it. I, I had the other one from that. Is it an Indian guy? It was, oh, Bijan. Just killing the frame yeah. rate, so I took it off. He has updated that. Ah, maybe I'll try that. First. Yeah, and he has there's, got some, some a, extra tools in there, but Rex is fine. Plane. Guys, we got somebody uh, on uh, on the chat here. Uh, interesting name. <laughs> His tag is Heat My Shorts. He's saying hello, everybody. Uh, so, uh, heat by shorts. Uh, uh, nice to have you along, Centurion. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Uh, nice to see you back. Really appreciate it. And Simon Judge, uh, welcome. What's the latest with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? Then are we all going to have to upgrade, or will it be compatible with the old version? Um, yes, 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 and don't know. Um, 
I think the long and the short of it is some of the releases will be compatible and but uh, and I'm assuming some of the purchases that we've got will just simply be doctored slightly where necessary um, to be compatible but it will be a completely um, different sim. I'm wondering if they'll share it, it, the same. It's, it's the not an upgrade. It, it, it will be a completely separate purchase, etc. I think it'll be a separate multiplayer, Mark? Yes, it will be. I'm, I, I don't know this, I'm assuming. So let me just qualify my comments. But I think in all aspects, other than perhaps some... Uh, it'll obviously support the same peripherals, other than some uh, um, add-ons, um, which will probably need updating. Uh, it's going to be a separate standalone product. That's from what I've garnered from what York Newman has had to say so far on it. I guess we just have to wait and see, really. I heard something about that one might be running off of multiple cores. That's right, yes. sir. They, oh, uh, really? They're, they're planning. Oh, that would be nice. They're, they're planning to um, to get it to run off more cores, and so they oh. are having to rewrite from the ground up, if you like, a large nice. portion of the very base part of the sim. Oh. So that's positive, and the reason they've done this, and I am being sub, I'm, I'm being subjective here, guys. So bear that in mind. Uh, the reason they're doing that is that. In terms of Xbox usage, they have already met and arguably already exceeded the capacity of the Xbox for the type of coding that Microsoft Flight Simulator has written in and therefore to continue to bring things to the Xbox and further improvements and, and resolve some of the memory issues that they've been unable with the coding to resolve the memory leak issues is the long and the short of it. Um, they, they've had to do this, otherwise the alternative was to separate Xbox and PC versions completely. So I think that uh, PC users are going to get the benefit of forced changes because of um, they need to make it more Xbox friendly if you like. That's just my personal view, I'm happy to be uh, corrected. It's a nice bonus of not having to uh, buy a new motherboard and chip for another year or so. It, it and might. it's really a great thing for uh, Xbox players to hear. <laughs> yeah. I, it might I mean, be. computer wizard, like, if multi -core, does that make it more smoother in its transition? You know, when you're flying and you're not having the autograms to pop in it. Just shares yeah. out, instead of running on two cylinders, it runs on four and evens the load a bit. Yeah, what it can do is um, currently you have things such as textures, etc., which are almost exclusively, not totally, but almost exclusively CPU bound, um, as is most of the basic code. Um, and therefore, that's all got to get through what is predominantly a single core. With multi core, it's going to be able to separate those off. And more importantly, and this is where GPUs are likely to become more important in the future, it will be able to hand off some actual data computing um, to the um, GPU. So not only should we see an improvement in performance um, just because of the coding, if, it, if the API can hand off to the GPU it could be very significant. Yeah. There's our runway. It should be uh, more or less, uh, depending where you are, on our left-hand side. You can see it just raised up on that hill. And uh, you want to make sure you get down. Just mind that fence when you come in. It's uh, It caught me off guard the first time. I'm you'll down. Be, uh, you'll be able to hit the Y key a hell of a lot more, Mark, without overloading your machine, won't you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> It'll yeah, cope with the amount. <laughs> I never hit the Y key actually ever. You just lean on it. No, no, I've configured it to a button on my joystick now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right. the one with no paint on it anymore? It's worn out mm. through, like a 1980s keyboard. A lot, a lot of the coding in 2020 is still FSX coding. That's after. 
Um, yes, a fair amount is, but the very the the, the biggest problem, as I understand it, is um, the the lookup and the data structure is FSX, as you say, and that's not very efficient um, right. with what's available today. Twenty years old, isn't it? <laughs> Plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of data that's that's available to FS twenty twenty compared to FSX. Do you know what excites me the most about FS uh, Flight Sim 2024? Really excites me with multi-core. Imagine the experience in VR. Yeah. yeah, you'll be able to push your graphics again. Well, I'm hoping they won't just have the same graphic, that we'll have a few more options, and that could be absolutely stunning. The thing is, it's using multiple cores. It, you're in effect getting multiple computers, aren't you, running the running the thing, and uh, it, it it needs properly configuring. But at the moment, it's a bit it's a bit piecemeal, isn't it? There's a bit doing this and a bit doing that. Smoky, uh, man, you are just woo! You just flew over that fence. My goodness. We should get better loading. I should know. I think uh, should... 2024 is going to go to a monthly subscription model. Uh, just for the amount of data that you're using. Uh, no, no, uh, it's, I don't. Called Xbox Ultimate. They're paying for that. They're paying oh, for it all. <laughs> little bit of a bounce. This touch and go at full stop. This is a full, full stop. stop, sir. We've got blockage nice. on the taxiway. I'll move nice up. Nice little bit. airport. <laughs> but uh, up. A... I'm moving up. I'm moving up. I'll take a hint. Huge parking <laughs> area up here. <laughs> Is that you, Neil? No, not me. I'm out of it. <laughs> okay. Are you? Yeah, just loading back in. Oh, okay. I can't see the aircraft. I don't quite know what it is. It's come out as a twin engine something for me. Yeah, we'll all be running match maximum lot, won't we? Twenty twenty-five VR. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so, and also, hopefully, it will mean that some of the, the, the less powerful computers will run it better. Yeah, and so the, the Steve, Steve's, um, Steve T is all, will be ready for that by the time he gets his machine back. <laughs> Damn. I'd be interested to see what difference that makes on, on Xbox. I mean, the memory is, is, a, is an issue, but the, yeah. the issue net on the Xbox is uh, when it's running out of memory, is that everything just lags before it crashes. It lags, particularly like data coming in uh, and stuff like that. And on the more advanced avionics, the screens go black. That's the problem yeah. I've been encountering. Yeah, yeah. but before before that happens, um, you, you like the 787 and the 747, if you've got VNAV on them since they did the avionics updates, um, you you do a, what would be, a, should be like a, a one hour flight and it takes one hour 20 one hour 30 depending on how detailed an area it's in um right. because and if you're flying with someone on pc on a decently powerful pc they're having to um sort of live pause or you're having to sim up in order to fly at the same speed and so, um and uh, again it's something where if the xbox can properly use a multi-threaded architecture it is a multi-threaded architecture be it on the Jaguar chipset on the Xbox, so I think it's something like 12 cores it's got available. Um, so you would have thought it would make a difference on there as well. You know, yes. not having one process which is basically slowing reality down. Um, it's just so immersion breaking. Yeah, it's, it's like amazing I, they've it, it's amazing they've taken this sim this far without. Oh, yes, yeah. it is really, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, there's very little that can compare with it in terms of the amount of data and the realism on the console. Um, right. You know, it, it's it really, really, is quite impressive. Well, I, I'm flying the the lowly Series S here, and it just amazes me the the detail that I enjoy on some of these flights, and I can't even imagine what you guys would. Be powerhouse PCs are seeing. It's just 
Uh, I've, been, I've been flying the French Riviera and the Beaver the last few days uh, along Cannes and that area, and there's just it's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 it's it's a Series S. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Is there any any mention of a later version, a new version of the Xbox at all? So no, the, I... what what the rumours which were confirmed as being accurate leaks um, was that Microsoft were planning on releasing a um an updated series x and that uh, series x would be the same architecture as the current series x but with the um with a blu-ray drive removed and the and, and an extra terabyte of storage so two terabytes instead of one terabyte but the latest rumors and i've no idea how accurate these are is that they're not going ahead of that um, and potentially looking at uh, releasing a um, the next generation of console earlier than PlayStation do to try and catch up on the sales front because for the last two generations um, might have been massively behind PlayStation in terms of actual sales so they're thinking do what they did on 360 get a console out um, uh, two years before place, uh, Sony can get theirs out uh, and uh, and potentially um, you know, corner a lot of the market on the, on the next generation. But those are just rumours um, as things stand at the moment. Okay, well, the, guys. The is, yeah. Sorry. Um, right, That's so right. we're going to... Uh, we're not backtracking. We're just going to take off from this end of the runway. So when now we, he tells me we're gonna take off and we're gonna uh, just uh, do a 180. We're gonna head to uh, our first waypoint, uh, Victor Papa 183. You want to climb to about 4,000 to 4,500 um, and follow the valley south. Um, Bear in mind that the high ground, that the mountains are considerably higher than that, so just be aware of that. So we're going to go straight over the waypoint, uh, heading is about 201. And uh, once we're at that waypoint, uh, keep your altitude fairly low. We're going to start dropping down. We will be following the river and uh, there's a little bridge there, so you know what to do, I'm sure. Um, then when you're under the bridge you want to turn slightly right and climb to a minimum of 3,000 and no more than 3,500 um, because the next landing is a little bit of a challenge it's Lima Echo Tango <laughs> Uniform uh, Tirana if that is cr the right way to pronounce it Tirana and uh, it's a bit of a challenge but uh, that's why I said you should be in uh, in tail draggers and what have you and uh, when you're ready I suggest uh, let's go guys each of radio check yeah, hey Mike Mike how are you doing Mike sorry guys I'm doing widow twanky mode doing the washing <laughs> nice to hear from you Mike are yeah you great to be on board are you, have you joined us I have. I'm just spawning in, Mark. I suddenly realised I haven't got a tail dragger, so I have now. Good man. Concord. We are just departing. Somebody just drove straight through my cockpit. <laughs> Whoa! This <laughs> this beaver's up already. It's very. It's an eager beaver. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> On the beaver, guys. <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> Sorry, guys, what's the heading? This uh, way. 201. 201, sir. Thanks, Mark. That silver beach craft is a pretty play, isn't it? Is that what you're in, Jeezy? Uh, um, no, uh, well, no, I'm in the staggering. You mean the D18, uh, the yeah, twin engine the, one? The twin one, yeah. That's yeah, cool. that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the staggering's nice as well, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty little that's, thing. Yeah, I like it. It's simple, simple to fly. There's no, no nav in it or anything, as far as I know, but it's great. Oh, it's lovely back to basics. I love the 30s aircraft. They're fantastic. Yeah. 
like it's like a Cadillac inside. Isn't it? it is, yeah. It's just got some history. It feels like you should have Kate Blanchett sitting next to you. Who were? <laughs> I had it in FSX. Beautiful. Or Greta Garbo, or yeah. Or Kate Beckinsale, even better. Thank you very much. Sit next to me, surely. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, That'll oh. do. Thank you, Lauren thank Buckle. you. Lauren Changing Buckle. subject right. now. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're going to follow the valley through, and uh, your the scenery is absolutely wonderful, um, and you'll probably enjoy it more if you stay relatively low. It's like a Mac loop times ten. Oh, there's a lot of dust on the floor down there. Did somebody crash into the farm? Or someone flying low down there by that farm? No, there's a I can see dust. I can see dust being kicked up. Yeah, that's a but bug. There's no air, but there's no aircraft. Interesting. I was quite low over there, but I was probably a couple hundred feet. Yeah, I know, you were at the opposite side then, it's to the left of me. Yeah, yeah. And there was just dust being kicked up, and it's still being kicked up. Yeah, I noticed a bit of that before, actually. Someone... Who's that? Oh, the XC. Maybe just a uh, dust devil. I don't know, ah, oh, Pipo. Pipo the clown's in the Cody, that kicks up dust, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Even at... 1,500 feet from the ground, apparently, in multiplayer. <coughs> Watch those wires down there. Yeah. Maybe they're doing a bit of chopping. It was pylons yeah. on the right-hand right side of us, fella, and on the left. Pylons to the right, hills to the left. Here, Here I, I am. am. Stuck in the middle with you lot. Just follow the river guys, follow the river and this is some of the most wonderful scenery on, for this route along here, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, those are some steep hills there. Watch yeah, out for the pylons, really. left side of the valley guys, pylons on the left side of the valley. Yeah, I got them. Power lines. I can hear that BF-108 very nearby. Sounds like it's behind it, me. Is that what I can hear? Oh no, that's the DH. That's the Beechcraft, the D-18 above me. Beautiful. That sounds awesome. Red Rough and Saw, how are you doing, sir? Excellent, Mark. Good, thanks very much for joining us again. Pleasure to have you here. Scoobot, welcome sir. Surely those pylons aren't there in life or they're a lot smaller. I'm sure they wouldn't put these down there, would they? I think they no, put them there just for you, Tunesy. Yeah, to stop me flying down. Or <laughs> Tango <laughs> Theo <laughs> flying down there upside down. Strato Jam, Strato Jam 911, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good to be back after a couple weeks. It's good to have you here. How are you doing? I see you in the Beaver. Good choice. Doing well. We, uh, I woke up to minus 25 degrees C, so I'm enjoying the weather in the sim. Wow, where, whereabouts Ooh. are you? Uh, we're in Mon Monument, there's a, there's a bridge here. Monument, Colorado. Wow. <laughs> there we go. That's yeah. And I thought our uh, our zero degrees was bad here this morning. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, it, this is a record this morning. Yes, in Vancouver, we're cold. we're having uh, this area. We're having the lowest temperatures <coughs> ever recorded. I've never known it to be this cold here. Wow. Stephen, Stephen, how cold is it? Um, gee, it was down like minus 
uh, 16 or something like that, uh, Celsius, something minus, like that. Minus 24 with wind chill, is what they were saying. It must be global warming. Stella Avia, what are you flying? I don't recognize it. Uh, it's just, it's uh, experimental. Oh. It's called smog. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that. It's not showing up for me, that smog. It's shown as a funny aircraft, so it's not showing up as the smog. Yeah, I don't even recognize the description. Oh, it's a free one on .to, and it's a really weird-looking skinny little aircraft, but I can't see it in the sim. It shows just to fall. Think of a kit fox with about 2,000 horsepower. Oh, boy. A little yeah, skinny shark fun. nose on it. So, <laughs> so somebody just strapped a, a, a set of wings to an engine, in other words. <laughs> yeah, it's a turbine engine. It looks like an elect silver electric nice. toothbrush. Here's a question, guys. I have a HP Reverb G2, as new in the box. How much is that worth now? Because uh, I want to sell it. I saw him on eBay for 200 to 250 dollars. Is that all? Yeah. No, I, I yeah. would say you'll probably get about uh, in the UK, Mike. I think you'll get uh, 350 pounds. Yeah, that's what sort of ballpark I was thinking of. But I would do it sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think I'll have to get on. Could we do it via your Discord channel, Mark? Put an advert there? You just um, have. You just have, yeah. <laughs> yes, no, that's I, true. Look, if you want to drop something in the com general comments section, that's fine. But we don't. I don't do uh, sale stuff generally, simply because I just, you know, people get upset and so on. It's more hassle than it's worth sometimes. But if you want to just say, hey guys, uh, I've got this for sale. Send me a personal message, direct message. That's fine. Here's Mark. I'll do that. Yeah, thanks. You're more than welcome. Right, Please alarm, go. alarm, bridge ahead. Where's Theo when yep. you need him? There Not here. Over or under? There's my air today, is it? No, no one's flying upside down. I'm following no. Katha Sisfin. Also in a beaver, I'm following you towards the bridge, sir. Is it going to be a problem with the G2s, with uh, Microsoft abandoning Steam VR? Maybe in two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got three years, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're going to be yeah. okay. They're still selling on eBay. I have one in the box it, that I'm going to sell. Cause I'm on if the it lasts that long, good luck. I've got one in a box, but the bloody power supply is packed up, or something's packed up, the cable or something, so we can have it if you want it. Mike, you should give it to Tony, and I'm sure he can get your money back for you on that one. He yeah. should be able to deal with everything else. <laughs> I've just got my money back on my Alpha. Oh, somebody's Yo. taking a wash. Here comes yeah. the bridge. You got that money back on that pizza you had in 1987, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at it. You're very good. You're like Martin Lewis of the Discord channel. Oh, I made it. But I'm now going to just cheat quickly. Oh, damn Pause the sim. Let's change the camera. It's getting very foggy here, misty. Yeah, I got the lab weather on that's doing that here on mine. Um, oh, and we can watch oh, people coming the under the bridge. Come on in, gentlemen. The water's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Simulation <laughs> gamer Susie. Hi. Evening, everyone. Hi, hey, evening, how are you doing, Susie? Susie. Here in hand. Come on under. There goes MGB Dave. Nice. As you come That's under, guys, you want to head to the right. Oh. Smirky Ivy, nice. Oh, Sprato Gems taking a uh, wash. I certainly did. That is way low. Now, Waikiki and F4, ah. and you're good to go. It's too low. No, it's not. You get under. I got under the road. So Here comes Mesmerizer showing us how it's done. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Delay, Rip, that's as close as you get. Uh, somebody just bottled it there. Here comes Golf Mike. Whoa! Oh! Boston Elf, nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Freyong, how are you doing, sir?
Here comes Dan Lawrence. Hello everybody. All eyes are on you, you're on camera. Oh nice. And oh. <laughs> oh you did didn't, fall. did you? Yeah, I didn't fall off the I'm on down. <laughs> Embarrassing. Man eh? down. Man down. Remember Waiki and uh, you're good to go. Now head to the right guys. Don't keep following the river. You see a bit of high ground here and you want to climb to at a minimum of 3,000 feet but not more than 3,500. Otherwise you're going to have a lot of difficulty uh, lining up for the next landing which is not very far away and uh, it is at Lima Echo Tango Uniform it's 3.8 nautical miles heading is 201 landing runway 12 and it is just a dirt strip and it is short 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 The reason I say climb to 3,000 is if you don't, you won't see the runway. Oh, Whoops. You crushed over Simcra. Now the... The runway now, guys, is to our left. Mesmerizer's just going in. I hope this is as beautiful as my bridge uh, flying. And you're going to need full flaps for this. This really is a stall landing. Wish me luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that was not beautiful at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not lined up. Or am I? I'm not. I'm gonna have Found to. Found the bushes at the end of the runway. How'd you put some altitude when you got the wide key on? F4. F4. Oh, come on. Oh, I've gone past it. Okay, we're good to go. Shop. Sharp, sharp, descending turn. Strata Jam's got to jump. Uh, thanks a bunch, guys. Appreciate it. And Mark for setting everything up. No problem, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, yep. Oh, not my best landing. I'm on final, guys. It's okay, Mark. I'm ready. I've got a recording. Ball flap. Well, I can't bluff this one. I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I get a reminder of the repair the plane key stroke? Why an F4 gives you height. Thank you. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'll go with the touch and go. I. 
I landed on the runway, but I am upside down. Does that count? Bottom. You're not the only one, because Tony's just gone upside down. Yeah, so. if you can walk away from it. I blame yeah, these I uh, the new turtle beach. Oh. What, turtle beach foot pedals? Yeah, they're too... They're too. <laughs> Billy, I can see your... I can see your tag, but I can't see your aircraft. Oh, I just flipped it over on its back. Oh, dear. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That was stressful. We've got... Yeah, I had to... Right right on the final, I had to switch to clear sky. I couldn't even see... It, my screen had gotten so dark, I couldn't even see the runway. But by that time, I, I wasn't managing my speed very well either. How are we doing? We still got a few to come down. I'm down. I can see a tag of Glitch Girl. I'm not sure if Glitch Girl is with us. Are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Um, I can't. Uh, ah, right. And Mike, we can see you up there in the Husky. Yeah, I'm on. I'm getting there. Okay, the next leg. We are off to our. This is our last leg of this flight. Mm -hmm. uh, we're off to Lima Echo November Alpha, heading off 274. Recommend, uh, um, recommend that you climb to around about uh, four and a half or five and a half thousand feet. There's a little bit of high ground uh, ahead. However, uh, Benabare Airport, Lima Echo November Alpha, where is our final destination. We do not have landing clearance. So we're just going to have to wait and see whether or not we can land there or whether we may be redirected to some obscure grass strip somewhere. Of course, that's highly unlikely, but being good pilots, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> yeah, right. we will always be prepared. <laughs> highly we? unlikely. <laughs> Very unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> it's never yeah. happened before. Yeah. No, no. Uh, Final airport. Never turned us away. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh, come on. He did do one one mark where you did we did let us land at the final airport and it took it caught everyone out. Well everybody com <laughs> everybody complained bitterly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, for takeoff, this is an equal challenge to, uh, to uh, our uh, landing guys. So you need to put a bit of power, careful with the nose down, and uh, aim for a gap in the trees and go for it. Joe's trees.
this thing could take off on a helicopter landing pad. There is a bridge there. <laughs> Since our last flight, whenever we go past a bridge, people say, Hey, Mark, there's a bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we've been traumatized. Over troubled water. Not wasted. Yeah. Trained. So, for. You guys uh, don't get too far ahead of me, just in case uh, we unexpectedly get diverted. Do you guys see that NVIDIA bringing out uh, their super series of graphics cards and discontinuing some of the original 4000 release, no surprise. But the difference in the performance doesn't seem to be exceptional from what I can see so far. Isn't there a comparative price drop though? There is. We're getting a little bit more performance for, I believe, between 50 and uh, 150 US uh, decrease in price, which is good news. Yeah. But the prices were too high right at the beginning anyway. Mark, when do you, yeah, think, yeah. We'll, when do you think we'll see the 5000 series? I don't know, to be honest. Um, you know, if it's normal NVIDIA format, then one would expect that to be out about October. Um, but you know, I'm not so sure we may not see it uh, until next year. But it all depends what AMD do. If they bring out something that starts to stonk the 4090, you can be sure NVIDIA will react fairly quickly. The, uh, there's a software pack now for the 30 series cards that allows the LSS to work with them. Yeah, you can get frame generation with it on, yeah. And, uh, that's going to give them a whole new lease of life. Then. Yeah, using uh, DLSS3. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's good, but no good for anybody in VR though, unfortunately. What, why do you work in VR then? No, DLSS 3 is not supported in VR. It doesn't work. It just defaults to version 2. Right, right. Like 2.2, I think it is. I'm not sure. But if Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is multi-threading, hopefully a lot of these issues and problems will not completely disappear, but Hopefully they'll be less frequent and less of an issue. If, if, if you look at the computing okay. power of some of, these GP, some of these GPUs, um, they should, they should run it, you know, they were using for Bitcoin, weren't they, for generating money for them. Um, they just need to be utilised. Sorry, you're a bit quiet, say again. Yeah, no, when you think how powerful the, the modern, the modern, the modern Force 40 series are, and even the 30 series, um, and the amount of computing power that the GPUs can do on their own, you know, they're, they're outstripping some of the CPUs. Uh, it, it, it should, they should better get it sorted. Yeah, it should become less of an issue, but, uh, you know, it's the old story, as, um, as hardware improves, um, <coughs> so they you know, the code gets bigger and more bloated and more demanding. Um, the next thing will be, you know, why aren't you flying in 8K? That mm -hmm. type of thing. It's a vicious... That is so true, Mark. That it's is so a vicious true. cycle. And it's also, it's one of the reasons, I think, that, look, I do enjoy the Pimax. Um, and uh, it, 
the visuals are absolutely fantastic in it but my day-to-day -day VR headset it's the Quest 3 that's all I need it's easy it's simple it does the job the visuals are fantastic job done uh, for 500 US I'm not complaining One question I wanted to ask, so has anybody here got over a thousand hours in the sim? If so, it's confession time, own up. <laughs> yes, but I lost 400 X a beta. Oh, you did you? Last year. Yeah. I lost uh, 246 uh, hours. I'm on uh, about 900 hours at the moment. Anybody I'm else? At 600, 600. Oh, nice. Yeah, I would have been. I would have been at a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I lost four hundred. I'm closing uh, in on four hundred, but I just started in February last year. <laughs> hey, that is that's some going. Yeah, I've been flying Mark. a lot. <laughs> I think it's a thousand. <laughs> It'll be a thousand if you include debugging issues with hardware. Yeah. Yeah, true. Ah, true. Steve T would have more than that. Yeah, from yeah, a seriously. debugging point of view, no doubt. Because he spends, for every 10 minutes in sim, I think the poor guy spends 40 in uh, debugging and trying to sort things out. That's such a sad story, I can hardly read it anymore. Yeah, I know. Terrible. He's he's watching right now, probably. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. We wish you all Hi, the best, Steve. my friend, and uh, we're missing you. And uh, got to get it sorted so you can join us on the next flight, my friend. So Steve no, no, has no. me at one thousand nine hundred hours. Who? Hi. Who? Steam. The steam. Right, yeah, that makes it up though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah but my actual flight hours are about 850. Yeah, that's good. From the last hours? Right? That's Because yeah. the sim's been out, what is it? It's got to be, what, uh, three years, is it, guys? Three and yeah, a half? three years. Less on Xbox. Yeah, sure. Less on Xbox, yeah. Yeah, it'll be four years in August, I guess. Mark, are you going to try to get into the 2024 beta program? Um, yes, I probably will. I'll try. So. Do you think that'll be out in August or will it be later in the year? Um, I don't know. Um, all I can say is what I said last time was the Xbox convention, I think it's somewhere around June, isn't it? Um, the Xbox showcase type event. And all I can assume is they'll do the announcement in June and then the release will follow not too far after that. They can't do it in sort of December or something, or they could, but... I think it's unlikely. So I think an August September sort of guesstimate would not be too far off uh, something that's that that's fairly reasonable expectation at this point. I don't yeah, know. What, 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 what do you guys that's think? That's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, about August. three quarters of the way through yeah. yeah, I think August four years from uh, Just a comment from me. I happened to spend Christmas Eve dinner with the CEO of Cirrus Aircraft, and he just wanted you guys all to know that he's very aware of the flight sim community here and uh, very interested and follows it. Oh, that's fantastic. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, he instigated the update for the Cirrus 22, didn't he? Indeed, and he said they're they're actively working this year 
with the developers where the flight dynamics are as close as possible. You know, that's one aircraft uh, we've never really done in, in uh, our flying events. So maybe we should have an event where it's very much planned and focused on the Cirrus 22. What do you guys think? I'm in. I've run out of fuel. Yeah, sounds good, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm up for yeah. that. Is it in the default? Yeah. I, no, it needs yeah. the premium yeah. deluxe. Premium yeah. deluxe. I'm not even sure I've ever flown it. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen it. Let's yeah, get you serious. need the premium deluxe. <laughs> I flew it on a December 30 event. That's pretty cool. God, I don't think I've got it. Is that a popular uh, training plane today? In real life, is uh, Cirrus popular with the uh, flight school? I think Take it is, answer. yeah. Uh, particularly Please, popular, yeah. I think, for those doing instrument training. That's a great platform for I, that. I see a lot of real-life video coverage of the plane on YouTube, but, you know, I can't answer that question directly, but it seems very popular. Well, for me, I'm lucky because he offered me a free simulator time in their Knoxville, Tennessee facility. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. Well, I'd take him up on that for sure. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, the How nice thing is, can you bring? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a big guy. I can just fit in a briefcase if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> just, go, just, just, just go along with a hundred of my closest friends, you know. Do a video. Yeah. <laughs> I've always loved you. You do know that. Yeah, <laughs> that would that would be fun to watch. Yeah. What's video. your name again? Sorry, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <sure. Yeah>. <laughs> Need any friend? <laughs> just a little word of caution for those of you that are shooting way ahead of me. Just uh, bear in mind we don't have clearance to land. Yeah, but we don't care. <laughs> I'm ten miles out. <laughs> <laughs> With the scouting party. <laughs> I'm being good. I'm right on your six. Yeah, I'm pushing this beaver as fast as I can safely go. I'm about 145 knots, uh, miles per hour, I beg your pardon. Well, don't they have good poo poutine there? Who? <laughs> poutine or poutine? I don't know how you pronounce it. Excuse me? <laughs> What's that Poutine. word you're searching for? Be, be very <laughs> careful where you go next. <laughs> well, I thought that's where it comes from. Mark, France. I think we need a disclaimer here. Cheese on fries. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> for, for any of you watching on the stream, if you suddenly lose audio, it's not your system. <laughs> careful now. There's Canadians here. Yeah. Uh, chip, chips, mayo, and cheese, isn't it? Well, I, I don't know how to pronounce it on that oh, French. It's not mayo, it's yeah. gravy. <laughs> yeah, it's poutine. And we have um, a beaver tail. I beaver tail. Yeah. We've, got, uh, we, we've got James or James Hudson on the chat, so let's all say hello to him. Hello, oh, James. Hello, oh, James. Dilly Dally. And James yeah. says. And I think he's boasting here. He's got 1,747 hours according to his Steam library. Uh, can believe it. Most of that will be trying to download the blooming thing. <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, we've got uh, Obangarik, if that's the correct pronunciation. If not, I apologize. Just under 1,500 hours for him. Uh, Simulator gamey gamer Susie is saying mind blowing. Mine is showing as 22 days, 22 hours, and one minute in Xbox app. Wow, fantastic! They're which cooking their books with Steam, which is about uh, 550 I hate, hate to brag, hours. But I have 7,900 hours so far. Huh. Huh. In the logbook? <laughs> on Steam, just on Steam simulator. Oh. <laughs> Ah, James, you're cheating. Do you ever sleep? You're cheating, James. Yeah, I get my seven hours a night. On well, autopilot. <laughs> guys, as we're flying uh, over this area, it's worth just having a look around at some of the scenery. It is absolutely Beautiful. stunning. Those steps on that mountainside are stunning, aren't they?
picking up a little bit of cloud now. That video you did on motion compensation, Mark, was useful. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it helped me set up because I had trouble trying to get the keys bound and everything else, but it was fine, it was good. Makes a difference. For me, it makes a massive difference. Oh, yeah. Mark, are you flying in it right now? No, sir, I'm not. No. It's not practical when I'm trying to manage a stream and all the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that video that nearly flung you out the chair, Mark, that was funny. Oh, well, you flew into the fence, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought you guys would enjoy that. Yeah, that was great. I can concur with that. <laughs> now, did you make that you remark after you hit it, or did you hit it so that you could make the remark? No, I planned to do it. Yeah, okay. After having a rather uncomfortable experience just before, I thought, <laughs> no... That one's worth watching. Okay, I have myself about six and a half nautical miles. I'm going to start my descent, guys. We have clearance, show. Mark. That's the thing. We don't, sir. Oh, well. Uh-oh. That'd be a bad idea just bringing himself down at the moment. There's too many of us for, for him to refuse. <laughs> just to clown the mood, sir. Just luckily I happen to carry a horse's head with me. <laughs> Where does he live? We could all just land and take over the airport. Nothing new there then, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is this is a whole new one. <laughs> the other one was uh, not so fresh. Okay. I seem, to have, I seem to have ribs and noodles to finish this flight off with. Because we don't have landing clearance, doesn't mean we can't buzz the tower. I'm happy with that one. I'm going around. I'm going around too. I'm going to go and tear up his washing line. <clears throat> So follow me in, guys. Are we landing? We are, sir. Ah. Uh, we it's will short. try. It's quite a short one, we? Hey, there's the Microsoft trees at the end of the runway. We're not landing at that uh, airport, by the way. Oh. Follow me in. Yeah, but we'll follow oh, you Len in. Lena? Lena? Yeah, but some of us can't see you. No. Uh, <coughs> no I'm scared. I'm going screen. through the trees. He's, he's <laughs> down. Oh, my God. And I'm upside down. Yep. 
you guys I are, don't know where you are mocked. No, you guys are no all idea. too far ahead of me, so uh, he's going up. He's I've going scrapped down. that. He's going up. He's going down. Have you used the Y key, Mark? I did because no, you, he doesn't. You guys are too far ahead of me, <laughs> so no Don't problem. Don't ask him why. Let's go and land at the airport, oh, guys. I put it down where you did, Mark, but I nosed it over. Yeah, so did I. Where is he? I don't know. I can't see him. Don't worry. I can't let's see the runway. Oh. Guys, let's see him. Let's head to. Nope. Oh. Let's uh, head to oh, the oh, airport. I got him. He said okay. about three thousand feet. Oh. Is he? Maybe the last twenty-nine. Yeah. Let's head to the airport, guys. That's where we are. Ah. Yeah, because no one can see him up. Yeah. It's gone to a different airport. Unless it's about three hundred miles away. I can see him. No. Nope. Not in the sim for a lot of us. I'm on your tail, Mark, but I can't see the airport. And I'm heading. Steve. I'm heading. I'm heading towards it now. About two two nautical miles. Okay, I'm on your tail, feathers. I see it. So where were you going before then, when you crashed? Uh, there's a uh, a little, a little strip green on. strip there next to that yeah. uh, quarry or mine. Yeah, I can see it. And that's where I was gonna go down, but most of you didn't see me. Plus, I nosed over, so I thought, well. Not to worry. Let's go for no the. Drawback. Let's go and land at uh, Lima Echo November Alpha, guys. I've got it. A little bit of a stutter there. I hope in Microsoft uh, 2024 they're going to do something about these trees at the end of every runway. No, all new Flight Sim 24 trees at the end of the runways. <laughs> Twice the size. Yeah, they're Taller solid. And solid. Solid. Right. solid sequels, ones this time. sequels, not upgrades. Yes. New trees. I'm hoping we're, I'm hoping we're going to get model matching, multi thread, AI, ATC, uh, auto select. Controls profile. Probably get rid of the Y key. I got, I got the uh, realistic trees mod when it came out on Xbox, and that makes a huge difference on the size of the trees. Just makes a lot more natural. I just saw that uh, add-on a few days ago. There's a free one, isn't there, for PC users? Oh, uh, oh, this uh, this was on. Yeah marketplace okay just opposite the building here guys there's a clear grass stretch let's pull over there Florian M is saying he's got 1,622 hours. Wow. Man, this aircraft will not stop. You should have asked that question before Sim Update 14, but the answers would be very different, wouldn't they?
Again, I seem to have lost quite a bit of the traffic visibility. Yeah, I've got the same problem, most of it. How are we doing? Everybody coming in now? I think everyone's in. Oh. Come on. Comment just taxiing in. Is everybody in? Yep. Brilliant. Yeah, I don't see anybody in the air. Oh, one. Right, guys, we've just got Hazer a. UK. We've got a 25 oh. pound gift voucher to give away. Um, anybody at the start of the flight's been entered into the wheel. So let me just give that a quick spin. And the winner is Nigel N. I think it's N1 GEL. Nigel, are hey, you with Nigel. us? Yes, yes. Thank Mark. you very much, Mark. That's brilliant. Uh, let me just switch back. Congrats, Nigel. Okay. Hey, good, good stuff. So, Nigel, if you just give me a drop me a, a message on a personal message on Discord, your it's uh, Xbox gift voucher, just flight or sim market, depending on where you're based. Um, what I need to know is what platform you're on. Um, and where and your location if you drop that in a personal message to me then uh, I'll tell you what the options are and arrange for your voucher sir congratulations thank you very much uh, I won once before uh, almost over two years ago so I'm on a streak Wow. Well done. <laughs> well done my streak hasn't started yet get the lottery ticket in well, guys, well I hope done. you well I hope done, you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun, yep. Mark. Well, yeah. Thank you, Mark. Thank Mark. If you, you, Mark. If you took Thank any you, Mark. if you took any pickies, then Thank don't you. forget to drop them in the images section of the Discord. I love to look at pictures you've taken during a fly-in. Just drop them in there; it's always appreciated. Other people enjoy looking at them too. The next flight will be subject to confirmation, but will be mid to late February. It will be helicopters, and will be. Thank in, you. In Australia. So we haven't been back to Australia for probably 18 months, maybe even two years. So I thought it's well time that, that we headed back there again. And I'm also still open to suggestions for a location for the March flight for ultralights. And as mentioned in the last fly in for April, uh, still uh, any of you would like to do a flight plan. Um, I'll do everything else, but uh, propose a flight plan. Please PM me and uh, step order. We can have a look at it uh, and uh, we can take it from there. But we're looking for some one of you guys to come up with the flight plan and suggested aircraft and so on. To everybody who's watched us on the stream, thank you so very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and it may have given you a few giggles and uh, particularly my crash, no doubt. And to all of you that joined me today, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Stay well. Look after yourselves. See you again soon. And ciao for now. Yeah, thank, thank you, Mark. So thank, thank you very much. It was fun, guys. It was fun. Thanks, guys.